Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given two binary trees, one we have which is called as main tree and one we have subtree. So uh, basically not as a subtree, it's an another tree. So now we need to check that whether this another given tree is a part of this main tree or it's a subtree of this main tree, right? So like if you see that here we have one four six so this part is matching with this one right so in this case we can say yes this is a this is a subtree of this main tree now let's say if my uh, if my if my given tree is let's say like this one here I have four two six so whether this exists no this is not a subtree right because we don't have this structure here but now let's say if it has four and six so in this case, yes, we can say this is a part of this tree because this node matches with this one. So now one by one we'll see that what's the logic. Then we'll see the time complexity and space complexity. And at the last we'll see that how we can implement it through Java code, right? So now uh, let's focus on this one. Let's say this example. So here we are trying to check that whether this is a subtree of this main tree, right? So one way is that uh, I what I can do, I can basically pass this node and this node and I can check that whether these both two trees are identical or not, right? And if it is not identical, so I'll go further, I'll go in the left side, then again I will pass this, this node and this node and I will check again that whether this is a subtree or not, right? So what will happen? So like in this case, when this particular two node and from here to here, it will check this is not sub, this is not identical tree. So this is false. So it again, it will go to recursively left side. Now when it will pass here, when it will pass this node, so this will match to this tree because both are identical. So this will pass true, right? So basically what is happening that here we are checking for each node. Let's say if my given tree was this one right so what will happen that here this is also matching with this one so this is also a subtree but first of all it will check with this one then it will check with this this one then it will check with this one then it will check with this one and then it will come here right and when it will come here then it will say yes both are identical tree so when will pass true right so it means if you talk about the time complexity in this thing what is happening that for to check that whether two trees are identical or not we get this in big of n right now we need to do it for n element if there are n nodes then we need to do it for n times it means this one right so if i do using this approach so my time complexity will be big of n square right and my space complexity because as such i'm not using any extra space so i i will be doing in big of one right so let me show you through code as well so that you will get it better so here is my function here is my this function is subtree so what i'm doing i am passing this main tree and this subtree means a given tree so i'm checking that if sub equal to null means if my subtree is null then i can return true because null is obviously a part of the main tree now if your main is null then it means i need to return false right because if your main is null it means uh, obviously it will be false it can't be a subtree but if it is not the case so what i will do i will check that check whether they are identical trees or not so i'll pass this main and i will pass this sub the given tree now uh, if it is if it, if it gives me that yes they are subtree then it will return true else it will check with the left of main and then again i will pass the given tree now i will pass both with the left and or right right so whether it should be whether it should be match in the left section or it should be match in the right section and if in any if any any section it matches then we will return true right so i hope you got this answer you got this solution so this is what we are doing and this is why this is why it is taking this uh, this much time complexity because for each node for each node we are doing this uh, to check that whether these trees are identical or not now the point is that can we improve this algorithm right because here we are doing in big of n square which is not good complexity so basically we'll use here a logic because before some days we solved a question that you are given a in order of a binary tree and you are given a pre-order of a binary tree 
now you need to build that binary tree for us right it means if you have any two order then you can build a binary tree so we'll use basically this functionality so what i mean is first of all let's say what is in order of this main tree right so it means uh, this is main tree and this is given tree this is given tree now if you talk about the in order of this main tree the in order is because in, in order first of all we start from the left then again left then again so basically if you talk about this in order in order is and let's say whenever i'm whenever i'm printing uh, the values okay so first of all print the values so this is my in order first of all one four six then it will print two then five then seven right now if you talk about the in order of the given tree so what is in order of the given tree like this is given tree so this is again one four and six right now if you talk about the pre-order of this main tree so what is pre-order pre-order means start from here and then keep on adding the value so like here two four one six five seven now check the pre-order of the subtree so this is what this is four one six right so if you have observed that basically this sequence is a part of this this in order sequence right similarly if you check here in pre-order as well we have 416 and here also we have 416 right so what i can do that rather than printing the values i can store this first in an array so basically i will have this values in an array like this I will store the values in array now after that I will convert this value into a string into a string so it means my string will be something like this 257 and similarly I will convert this also first of all in array then in string so this string will be 241657 now I will convert this one to a string 146 and this one also 416 so first of all i will check that whether this is whether this string is a part of this string if it is matches then i will check with the pre-order that whether this string is a part of this string and if both matches then i can say if both if both contains is the main string then i can say this subtree exists for that give for that given main tree right and why we are doing for both the things that why not only for the in order because you cannot you cannot create a binary tree only if you have given only one order like we cannot we cannot create a binary tree if you have given only in order or if you have given only pre-order but if you have given pre-order with in order or if you have given post order with in order then we can create a binary tree so the same concept we are doing there doing here that get the in order of the main tree and subtree similarly get the pre-order of the main tree and given tree now check that whether the in order string matches whether the in order string contains in the main tree and similarly check that whether the string of the pre-order contains in the given pre-order main tree and if it contains then we are sure that it is the subtree of the main tree right and now you can ask that because here we have only single values what will happen if we have multiple values so it will also work in that case so let's say here we have 10 11 uh, 2 here we have 5 here we have 67 and now let's say if my given tree is 11 67 and 5 so what is the in order of this one in order of this one will be 67 11 5 then 10 then 2 right now what is the in order of this one in order of this one is 67 11 5 so if you see this is matching exactly now if you talk about the pre-order pre-order will also match 10 11 67 5 2 and here uh, 11 67 5 so if you see this is matching exactly right so if this substring if the if the string if the sub if the string of subtree exists in this string then we are sure that they are then this is the substring of this one right but let's say if it doesn't match it so let's say if it is 68 so now if it is 68 let's then it will be 68 so whether it matches no it doesn't match 
now here also it will be 68 whether this is matching in this one no it's not matching right so this will happen for this will this can check exactly now if you talk about the time complexity what is happening so because we are doing in order and pre order and in order and pre order so in calculating the in order pre order it will be big of n right and then uh, we are checking so checking is is actually fine because we can check in we can we can have a string function that whether check this whether this is a part of the substring so that we can do in big of one or again in big of n now uh, if you talk about the space complexity so because we are using this array to store the values so it will be big of n right so if you see that we have improved our time complexity from n squared to n right and this is a very good improvement right so now let me show you this uh, through code as well so that you will get it better here i have this function here i have this function and guys uh, in the previous solution uh, how we can check that whether the given trees are identical or not so we have already solved this question and uh, if you want to check then you can go through in our previous tutorials that how to check whether these whether two given trees are identical or not but still uh, i have given the code here so you can check that and if you don't get it then please check my previous video where then you can go through the playlist and then you can find out that check whether the given two trees are identical or not now come to this optimized solution so in optimized solution what happens that we pass the uh, we pass the main node then we pass the how many nodes are there how many nodes are there in the main tree similarly we pass the subtree node and we pass how many nodes are there in subtree and why it is needed so because we need to create the we, no, we need to create the array right so if we know that how many nodes are there in the main tree so that will be uh, that will be a plus point for us and that is needed actually right so now uh, what we do and that this is a basic case that if your sub is null then return true or if your main is null then return false right so now uh, i create a i create a array and i call the function in order fill array so this is uh, this is just this is just a in order function this is just to check that uh, this is just a in order traversal the only difference is that we are putting the value rather than printing we are putting the values in the in the array right and we have initialize i equal to 0 at the starting so what it will do that as soon as it will keep on traversing the element it will fill the values here right so uh, this is how i will fill the array in in order way now again i will set i to 0 because i need to fill it again for the uh, for the subtree so i like again call the function in order fill array but here now i will pass the function this sub node because earlier i passed the main node and the main in order means how many elements are there but now i'm calling this sub in order and the calling this one so what will happen that uh, that again it will call the function and it will fill the all the nodes in the whatever in the subtree now uh, i will convert i will convert the in order of the main tree from array to string right so it's a basic function uh, i am just calling a string and uh, i am calling this for loop and one, one by one i am creating a main string right so this is how i will convert from array to string this is a basic thing once i have converted then i will check this is a basic function of the string it checks that whether this whether this sub, sub in order string contains in this main in order string or not now if it doesn't contains then we simply return false right and if it contains then we'll go further and we'll do the same thing what we did here we'll do the same thing for the pre-order right similarly we'll create a we'll create a array for the main and for the sub node for the subtree then we'll call the pre-order traversal and here uh, whenever we are whenever we are doing the pre-order traversal we'll also store the values in the array right so now uh, what will happen and again i will set i to zero so this is how i will store the all the pre-order function of the main in the uh, in this one array and for the subtree i will store the values in this one right now again i will convert this array to the string and i will convert for the main and for the subtree and i will and i will simply return that check that if this sub pre-order string matches into this uh, contains in the main pre-order string then return true else return false 
right so that is the basic concept that we are doing here that first of all first of all uh, do the in order traversal and pre order traversal for both main tree and sub tree then store this in order and sub order in uh, the in order and pre order into a string and check that whether the sub string match contains in this one or not for both in order and pre order and if both matches then you can simply return yes a sub tree exist for this one right so that's it guys about this video and uh, if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and uh, and and guys i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you